had that hip replacement two years ago, whatever it was. It's a titanium hip. It explodes when you go through, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it sets off all the bells, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, I go to Los Angeles. Uh, we go to Los we Angeles. We go to Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> and the paparazzi are there. And that's fine. I love those you papers. You like that? Is that I fun? I love those paparazzi. <laughs> when well, you're bending over and you're trying to check yeah. your, your uh, well, tickets. Well, they're just the, very friendly yeah. guys. So anyway, <laughs> I'm talking to the papers, making them happy. And then it comes time to go through the chamber. And so I say to the guy, hi, how you doing? Regis, my mother loves you. She's been watching <laughs> you for years. I said, but that's nice, but I want to tell you, I've got a titanium hip, and this thing is going to go off. He says, oh, my gosh, you're retiring. Not even listening to me. <laughs> <laughs> so I go through the, the, the doorway there, and, of course, beep, boop, boop, beep, boop. <laughs> and guys come running everywhere, you know. All right, Regis, throw up with your head. <laughs> Spread your legs. Which I do because yeah. I'm used to it. <laughs> I'm getting to like it. <laughs> anyway, the guy goes through the whole pat down. Now, the pat down is more than it's ever been. I've noticed that. Yeah. I think he really liked you. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? When you're getting patted down, I have the pleasure of taking all the stuff that you have had to shed to go through security. I, I bring Regis's shoes, his belt. His jacket, his coat. Did you notice that? I didn't notice you it. don't have Was to do you, that really? anymore. Yes. Well, thank you very Loose much. Loose change, all of that stuff that you throw in the box. Can I show this picture now that I found it? Okay, here it is. Is that you? Is that me? That's the back of me and my paparazzi friends were shooting it. <laughs> now go down there. Oh, that's funny. See Regis? the gloves? That's my new friend on TSA. <laughs> Oh, yeah, of course. Regis Fieldbin. Oh. <laughs> you gotta love the post. I love oh, their Oh my little, god, um, I couldn't believe it. So anyway, yeah. that that's how we got to Florida. No. Uh, well that was LA, wasn't it? Yeah, or was that Florida? Then we're flying to Florida from LA. Yeah. Okay. No, I, my friend is in LA. And, so we went and, to and LA. I miss him a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we went to LA for the uh, Golden Mike Awards. The Golden Mike Awards, Joy, it happens to be a big thing. Uh, I, I heard it was. And That's if you why ever worked go. in California television, uh, you realize how big it is. And, and you know, I figured it out while, while I was there, and I, I mentioned this when I made a little talk, that the first half of my uh, professional life mm -hmm. was in California. Right. And the second half was 28 years there, 28 years here. But out there, it was beginning, it was starting, it was learning, you it was fresh. hoping to get to the next yeah, level. Yeah. And it was... Uh, and it know. was nice to see all the people that you worked with. Absolutely. You know, Kelly Lang and... Yeah, Kelly Lang was on it, too. Steve Edwards. Steve Edwards. But, you know, I mean, the Golden Mike, to me, I've never received one, but they wanted to give me a... Uh, I was, what, Legend of the Year or something? I was a legend. You're, and you're so, a legend now. <laughs> but here it is. Now, it doesn't really show how brilliantly gold it is. I mean, it's just a gorgeous award. And, and here's another shot of it right here. And, and some of the people yeah, who, were, you, who were hired. You, we we flew a long way for you to get that. It's a pretty award. Pretty Isn't award. it going to go well with your Bing Crosby record collection? Don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> Very well. I'm sorry. I miss Kelly so much. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Edwards, great broadcaster yeah. out there in L.A. for a long, long time. And before that, Chicago, he, he was nice enough to take the night off and, and come down there and uh, make a speech and introduce me. He, he was gave you a nice lovely him, introduction. Yeah. So, at the end of the speech, now remember, I wanted this award because it's gold. It's gl glittery gold, you know? And you put it in your house, and man, there it is for yeah. the rest of and your life. And it reflects life. what you've been doing all your life. Exactly, right? Joy. Not only that, but it's, it's also the beginning of this whole thing. You know, before television, there was a thing called radio. radio. <laughs> And that's what they used, a microphone to talk to you. And so it's very symbolic of the whole thing. So anyway, Steve, at the end of my, my award, says, OK, Regis, and here is your award. <laughs> I mean, it's a nice piece of yeah, glass. Yeah, it's a lovely piece of glass up close. Radio yeah. and Television News Associates, Southern California. 
You know, you've informed and entertained us for five decades, and they're thanking me very much. Broadcast Legend Award, it you're says right. on there. Well, that's but, very pretty. Not what you would expect. So, I was so surprised that, incidentally, there are like uh, a hundred of these awards that they give out through the night. Everybody got one. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> It takes... <laughs> the whole wall was lined up with them. It takes forever to get to Regis. <laughs> no, I was number 45. Yes. <laughs> and they have news documentaries. They have uh, news specials. They have entertainment reporting. They, I mean, they just cover everything. And then they get down to number 45. And look, instead of my name, I find this. To my man, Regis. That's very sweet, Love, isn't it? Larry King. That was sweet. He's the only one that took out an Thank ad. Thank you, Larry, very, yeah. very much. That was very touching. I really touching. appreciate it. So, anyway, so I get the piece of glass. Well, Regis is upset. <laughs> you even screamed it out as you were walking yelling. off the podium. Where's my golden mic, <laughs> the, he said. The, the, guy, <laughs> the guy from Bakersfield got a golden <laughs> mic. <laughs> what about me? I mean, I carried on so much. That this morning when I got in, there was a golden mic. <laughs> oh my God, you got one! Yay! That's, Isn't that that's nice? Great. That really is gold, yeah. What does it say? They probably think, what a spoiled brat he is. Give but him a golden mic. I mean, if the Bakersfield guy got one, why can't Regis from New York get one? Do you have to give that back? <laughs> the glass? I gotta give them both back. Don't leave me alone. <laughs> And then and on to Miami to, Beach, right? On to Miami for the NAPTI yeah. Award, where you again were a legend. Remember? <laughs> you had to, you were received an award you there. See, I never won an award. <laughs> All those years, never won an award. Show has never won an Emmy for crying out loud. So anyway, uh, yeah, for, for legend. And it was fun. Mary Hart, Dick yeah, Ebersole. Yeah, we got to see a lot, Mary. We, we were on the same plane and... Yeah, it was ran a, into her at breakfast. There's Mary and there's a Dick and uh, I'm over here on this side. And there's a big ad for Mary and that's where it She's ends, right there. Okay. <laughs> she looks great. Is she wearing my dress or am I wearing her dress? Let's see. Look at that picture. Holy cow, is Joy. This is this is <laughs> really is close. Dress. This is really close. That is funny. You know, actually this dress was sent to me by a a, a friend, a, a Darling girl, and uh, she's a new designer. I know that. And she happens to live in our house in Connecticut. Yeah. You know. The, there is one. Her name is Amy Matto. Amy Matto, Matto yeah, she's her a, name is, yeah. A, a new uh, and designer. And I put it on, and I liked it. I mean, it fit me perfectly. Yeah, but the only thing is Mary's got some kind of she's a knot She's got a here. bigger knot. I don't have a knot. You don't have a I knot. I just have a, yeah. You don't need a knot, Joy. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. So that was a lot of fun, you know? But that's all I've heard about Brandon Tartikoff stories. And so um, Mary Hart and I had a six-month run on NBC 30 years ago. And um, at the end of six months, first of all, the show was cut to a half hour from an yeah. hour. And, you know, we just can't do what, what, what I do, what we do here, in, uh, in a half hour. And so uh, it didn't make it, and uh, somebody cut it in New York. And I never found out who it was. About six <laughs> weeks ago, who was here? Rick? R Ros no. Rick Feldman? Rick Rosner. Yeah, from Napa. Yeah. Rick, Rick Feldman. Rosen. Yeah. No, Rick Feldman. No. Joy, okay, listen I'm to me. sorry. I don't know Rick Feldman. <laughs> He's here. He knows everything. Been everywhere. Worked everywhere. Worked at NBC 30 years ago. I said, Rick, who would it be to cut the show here, you know, because he was here to tell me all about the Brandon Tartikoff Award, which I was honored to get. And so he thought about it. What year was it? I said, well, the show started like the end of 80 and went into the spring of 80, 81. He said, that was Brandon Tartikoff. <laughs> <laughs> the same guy who fired me. It's giving, giving me you an, an award. award. Now, Brandon passed uh, a lo uh, quite a few years ago, and his lovely wife, yeah. she's something, isn't she? Yes, she's beautiful. Lily, Lily Tartikoff Lily is Tartikoff. very philanthropic and yeah. gives a lot of... Um, and she was just fabulous. Yeah. And anyway, that's the other reward that yeah. we want. Well, and, you, would, you know, if you hang around long enough, you'll prove them wrong. <laughs> she inspiring, supporting. <laughs> so then we went up to, um, where did we go? Sarasota. Sarasota. Started and nobody to cry. knew. Wings. Keep singing. <laughs> you sound great. 
Anyway, no, I, gotta I tell am you. not going to do this song anymore. You've got to do the song. We recorded it, put it on our album. It's on the and album. You can't get away from it. it. Uh, even in a recording studio, there's something about, you know what I think it was, Regis? It's actually your fault. You made this announcement, right, about your leaving the show. Yeah. And so now the song means more to me than that because it's a big change in our life. And I started thinking about, you know, a lot of people think you're retiring and There's all that. There's only one thing you're thinking about is going to be home every day. Right. <laughs> you got that right. And, I, and I've heard about that. <laughs> so I think that was kind of tied well, it into is, but it. It's a great song. Uh, it's a very touching song. Yeah. And listen, we're going in to Atlantic City Resorts, March 12th. You gotta sing that song. Yeah. But really? If you don't, um, if you don't if mind, don't like no it. crying, just <laughs> sing it. <laughs> Well, no, maybe by that time. I, I don't, don't know. I, I thought you care. were laughing. I, I look, turned for a minute to look at the at the screen. Oh, please they, they don't don't in elaborate. Okay, it was just embarrassing. <laughs> I was I was embarrassed. Don't and, elaborate. She yeah. told the whole story. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great story. Well, now I know how John Boehner feels. Boy, you just can't can't control it. <laughs> you can't control it. You're right. Um, let's just change the All subject right. because I brought a couple of things. All right, you know, I know the that um, we just mentioned this, but we took we met the. Uh, children, my uh, daughter JJ and Mike, her husband, and the two grandchildren at Disney World um, right after Christmas. Now, he's just turning three, so we knew that he was a little young, you know, a little young for Disney World, and it would be slightly overwhelming for him. But um, he's a very bright child, and um, so but he doesn't as react. we're going through the park, we realize that, you know, he's very quiet, and He's taking it all in, but he doesn't look like he's having, you know, fun. And so I finally said to JJ, is, is William enjoying this? Is he, is he really, you know, she, oh yes, mom, this is the way William is. He, he's really having a good time. So I took a picture, I had Marlene take a picture of this. Mm -hmm. And here's, here we are on the Ferris wheel, I'm sorry, on the <laughs> merry-go-round, and there's William having a good time. <laughs> that's Baby Ivy, and, and Baby Ivy we're all right having there. a good time. But then, well, that's his reaction to I it. I got one more. Then, then you know then he's having a good time. We went to the fire station. I mean, the real fire station where they had this enormous yellow fire truck. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all William talks about: are fire trucks and dump trucks. And so he got to climb into the truck and actually, you know, sit there behind the wheel at one point. So. Here's another picture of William being really excited about <laughs> sitting in the fire truck. <laughs> so that's just, you know, JJ said he talked about it every day after he got home. You know, so he has to kind of think about it yeah. first. And uh, I just thought it was funny. Oh.